COVID-19 is still around and keeps us busy, scrambles up our lives. And now we have a vaccine available or even multiple vaccines so that there's already the fight against this uh, disease going on. However, a therapy for people who are already infected would also be very desirable. And that's why early on, when this virus um, SARS-CoV-2 was uh, characterized initially, we already started to build a computer model that simulates in the computer what happens when it infects human cells. Now, I'm asked a lot of times, how does it work? What does it mean, computer model of that infection? So I would like to briefly give a few, uh, a little insight into um, that computer model and what the principles are. So now the virus is really small. It doesn't have so much material with it. So it is um, fully dependent on the host's metabolism and has to suck out material out of the host to reproduce. So basically it reprograms the host and then the host is forced to, instead of doing its normal functions, to assemble and build the um, virus particles. If we now know how that virus is composed, what it's made of, how many viruses typically are being built from one host cell and um, what, what its structure is and so forth, then we could basically collect all these processes and uh, give them all into the computer and see how the host metabolism will uh, change with and without infection of SARS-CoV-2. And that's exactly what we did. So we took the human alveolar macrophage, that's a uh, cell that uh, is um, in the human lung tissue. And uh, then when the virus is already inside of that cell and has reprogrammed its metabolism, then we can look at these changes and see what it does. And um, there's one enzyme that makes a big difference, and that's the human um, guanulite kinase. As said before, that is a human enzyme that the virus needs for its processes, for its re replication. It's not a viral um, enzyme, but that is something that the virus has to use, whereas we humans are in the lucky position that we can even live with a reduced function of that enzyme uh, because there are detours to make substances uh, that uh, would be made by that enzyme also in different routes. However, the virus really has to use that particular function. So now that would be an ideal candidate to disturb the virus and uh, possibly lead to a medication that could, could be used in the fight against that ongoing disease. And um, also a good thing is another publication already came out that uses our approach um, and finds very similar uh, targets as we also did. So um, it seems that our early approach that already came out early in 2020 uh, really makes sense. So and if you want to learn more about that, um, you can take a look at our study. It's open uh, in openly available in the internet. And um, you can also visit our YouTube channel for more information on similar topics of um, systems biology and simulating biological entities. Thank you.